So if you look down this alley and then you look up, you're going to notice one of our friends in Tokyo. You see Godzilla in the background there? So Godzilla doesn't live in uh, Shibuya. He lives in Shinjuku, which is right near Shibuya. But there really is a big statue of Godzilla peeking over a building like that. So, in a way, all the students start at the subway. And the reason they start there is because we're, we are trying to simulate that, hey, I just showed up in Japan. So, um, the uh, Obon is a festival, and you could say it's a festival of the dead, like Day of the Dead in the uh, uh, Spanish culture. So you can see me dancing here and then what we do is we uh, go around the pavilion in different rings. A ring around the top on the pavilion, the drummers are at the top, and then uh, people down below in multiple rings. is that uh, the, the rice paper really does not melt too fast and everybody believes that the rice paper is going to melt before they get a goldfish. But the trick is to go slowly, that the rice paper will not melt and that you have to slowly take the goldfish out uh, as you do it. Because if you go fast, that is what breaks the rice paper. So next time you have Japan, give it a try. They used to have Japan. Many of them were free wheel uh, before and right after the war. Uh, but even today, you see these big things on the road. Independent truckers will often dress up their trucks. And it's called a dekotora, which means decorated truck. Dekotora. And you can tell what this person hauls, right? You can see here one of the things that students often run into as soon as they get to Japan is having to do their own laundry. So if you look closely at these, you can see that there's the actual Japanese instructions right on these things when I get to Japan. So they're all set to go. And uh, these excellent builds by Hiro Takeda are uh, right here, and also the instructions on the laundry detergent. So this way, Japanese students can come in and say, okay, I got it, I see what the environment's like, this is what I'm going to need. Wow, well, look, here's one of those little festival foods. So in here, you can imagine, this might be one of the places you need to stop to get something. This is a soba shop. So let's go down this way. So in some shops, you buy a ticket outside. When I was on Hiezan in Kyoto, uh, this was the way we bought our food. Yeah, Irori, that's right. And so the cinch holds the iron rod from coming out of the bamboo too far so that you can raise and lower the pot. Meditating under a waterfall like this is a common thing. Usually you don't wear a tweed jacket and trench coat when you meditate under a waterfall in Japan.
we put in a board where you can draw kanji or directions or whatever you want. And you can see some of you have a lunch, so feel free to share your lunches. So let's say we're going off on our first adventure. And now you've got your assignments, but instead of splitting up and everybody going to find their own thing or in small groups, uh, if, yeah, let's, let's go together. So here, uh, there are two things. One is an omomori, which is the little talisman if you want your kid to get into school and your, your family member not to get in a car wreck. You buy them these little things primarily to let them know you care about them and uh, to remind them to be safe. I'm going to wash my hands here before I go in. And then we can enter the shrine. Over here is where you can get your fortune done. So if you just click on it, it will give you a fortune. Now, if you get a fortune you like, you can keep it. But if you get a fortune you don't like, then you should tie it here and the spirits will take care of it. Yeah, that's right, it's next. You know the old song? Here, in order to call the spirits, you see the little dangling rope? ring that and you're ringing the bell and here you can uh, pay respects you can clap your hands and put money in if you try this also you can see okay let me see if there's any money in This is one of my uh, favorite things to do in Japan, which is ring a really big bell. So I just pull this thing back and gently glide it forward. And you can ring it too. Just walk casually by as the snow monkeys are taking their bath. Um, so just watch out. So you can get a mask if you want. And then you'd wear that and you'd go back just like I am right now. And then your teacher would say, yes, yes, that's it. Or no, no, that's not right. You can see the view here now from up here. This is probably the highest normal place people stand. Yeah, we really had a lot of fun setting this up. This isn't everybody's tour of Japan. I think that's an important thing to mention. This is some of my wife and I's favorite places to go when we're in Japan. Like the fun things we like to 